Welcome back to my channel, it's Kristen. So I finally got in my ColourPop uh -huh Honey Palette. So we're going to do a wearable yellow look. I'm wearing my yellow and blue dress, so we're going to go ahead and do a wearable yellow look. We're not going to incorporate blue into it though. Mm, I have blue in my earrings for my the, the owl's eyes. They're Athena's. It's Athena's owl, in case you weren't aware. Then my necklace is, has the blue in it, so we're going to go ahead and incorporate just the yellow and a little bit of brown on the eyes to make it a little bit more wearable as well. So, <clears throat> this is what the Uh Huh Honey palette looks like. Like that. In case you haven't seen it yet. So it's got a lot of different shades of yellow. This shade here, uh, it's called Palooza. This shade right here in the middle. It's a glitter shade that they are advising is not safe for the eyes so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with that my luck I'd probably just get it in my eye and it wouldn't be pretty <laughs> so we're just gonna like not we're, we're gonna avoid that also from the uh -huh honey collection I also got the uh, catch some sun eye brush collection as well there are six brushes in here so this is what the brush set looks like just your normal eye brushes that you would use every day. You got yourself a fluffy crease brush, um, a shader brush. This one is interesting. It has a little bit of an angle to it, so that'll be interesting. Uh, flat brush to like pack on color underneath the eyes. Um, a little bit fluffier of a of a brush to put on the um, put the color on your eyelids. So yeah, we're gonna give these a shot too. I also bought. It comes separately. It comes like in a little. Um, tray, but I did also buy the Kathleen Lights I Need Space blush, and I got this little palette to go with it. It's just a little compact. It says blush on the back. I'll never remember what's in it. Yeah, well, it comes with a mirror, and uh, I can you can either you can pop out. I could pop this out and put something else in it. Um, I could also pop this out if I ever get like a magnetic, um, like a big magnetic palette from them which I'm thinking about doing actually. That way I remember what this color is. Not that I can't, it, it's easy to pop out. There's like a little pin hole here. You just take a little pin and you pop a mountain. But those are the items that I have today. And then I also have, um, I also got in the other Hot Lips 2 collection um, lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. So we're going real, real affordable and then real, real high end. So I got two two lipsticks from there. So we're gonna we're gonna try those on as well. But right now we're gonna focus on the uh huh honey palette. Alright, so we're gonna try to make this look as wearable as possible because I am going into Vegas today. So I'm actually gonna wear it. <laughs> of course it's Vegas. They don't they don't care. They don't care if you're wearing a yellow eyeshadow. Um I'm gonna use my uh-huh honey palette because it has a nice mirror on it. This isn't a nice this isn't a plastic packaging. I've been hearing a lot of people complain about that. They're saying that the ColourPop should put it in a cardboard packaging. I understand because it's not recyclable and all of that. I'm trying to go more uh, eco-friendly here. Okay, as I'm doing this, I want to address my skin. I don't know what is happening right here. I got some sort of burn around my my nose area around my nose and mouth area I want to say it was when I waxed the other day um but honestly it's kind of been a little bit red for a while and I don't know what what it is I don't know what's burning it so uh, it's really annoying me it's kind of it, it's the burn is still pretty red I've been putting some aloe vera on it to give it some moisture and help it heal yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there, but, okay. So I took my, I just took my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer, and I went ahead and did that. I'm going to actually take my Cali Contour and set everything, and I'm going to use, um, you know what, I want to use these brushes pretty much for the makeup look. Uh, I'll take this one, this weird, it's called F12. It's kind of like an angled, big brush I don't know I don't know I don't know if they have names but I'm just gonna go ahead and set my eye primer with that since everything in here has a yellow tone to it and I just want a matte white to set my eyes 
per the use, you know, per the use. But yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on right here. And then I still have the redness down here. Uh, my poor skin. It's like, it's freaking out and I'm not really sure what's happening. I'm trying to figure it out and I'm also trying to get it to heal. <sighs> and we'll see, we'll see. So now I'm gonna take this E2 brush. Oh, I wonder if this is supposed to be for concealer. Cause it's an F like face. I wonder if this is supposed to be for concealer. Probably. Um, but I'm going to take this E12 brush, which is a crease brush, and I'm going to go in with the color. Okay, so we're going to start with Stinger, which is this color here. We're going to start with that as our transition color. It's the lightest of the yellow colors. Ooh, and really not light, is it? Hmm, okay. It's actually pretty bright. All right. That's a bright color right there. All right. It gives me high hopes for Sweet Spot. Because if this one is that bright, Sweet Spot is probably going to be real bright. This brush is nice and soft. I like it. And it's blending things out nicely. So this whole brush set for six brushes was 20 bucks. I don't know if it's still available in a set, but... I got it for 20 bucks, which was pretty, I thought, a pretty good deal. The palette was 12, I want to say. 12, I think. I know it's been sold out. If it's available when I put this video up, I will link it down below. I'll link it down below either way, and, you know, if it comes back in stock, you can, you can check it out. But they usually bring them back. This is part of their, like, monochromatic, um palette set there was you know I have the purple one and they had a blue one they have a like a red watermelon one they have a couple of these now all right on that same brush I'm gonna take totally buggin down here which has more like a brown tone and I'm gonna do the same thing only I'm gonna instead of blowing it up and bring blowing it up that's not the right word instead of bringing it up a little bit high like I did this this color this uh, stinger color I'm gonna focus it more into the crease and I'm just, I'm not going to bother, actually, wiped off the brush a little bit. So we're going to go into totally bug in, and again, just like, concentrate it more into the crease. I'm going to be a little more precise with it. I feel like I should zoom you in. I always forget to zoom you guys in. I'm sorry about that. So far, I don't feel like I should be in an 80s uh, teen flick, so that's good. I am going to move away from these brushes for a minute and go into my Zueva. No, I'm sorry. my. So I'm going to move away from those brushes for a minute and go into my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to go into Buzzkill, which is the brown in the palette, the true brown in the palette. Well, maybe a true brown, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Definitely got a yellow hint to it. And I'm going to put that on my outer V. And just drag it just a tad bit into the crease. And this is how you make it a little bit more wearable. As you add a little bit of a neutrally color to it. And brown is the perfect, the perfect color for this kind of look. Like I said, just a little bit into the crease. See, it already is making it look a little bit better. Like a little bit, well it looked fine, but I mean a little bit less like, wow, you're wearing yellow eyeshadow. <laughs> I did take it a little too far into the crease, so that was my mistake. It's okay, I'll just go back in with Totally Buggin in a minute and then with Stinger and kind of make the colors blend out a little bit more. I'm going to go back with a little bit of Totally Buggin. I'm just kind of blend Buzzkill and Totally Bug in together. Now I'm going to take my color switch. And you just kind of swirl your brush in it. 
to get off any excess shadow. Obviously you can't get off what's stained on there, but the excess shadow that, uh, so it doesn't come off on the skin. And I'm gonna go back in with Stinger, which was that light yellow, well, that first yellow color we went into wasn't as light as I thought. And I'm just gonna go right over the edges with that. Okay, there we go. Had to change out my battery. So hopefully, hopefully we're still okay in the frame. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make this, like I said, I am actually gonna go out today. So I'm gonna make this a little bit well, I'm going to make this wearable is what I'm going to do. Ooh, that dandy color is friggin' beautiful. I'm like, which one do I want to use on my lid? I want to use dandy because it's beautiful. Um, I was going to use sunburst, which is also beautiful. But dandy is like, woo! So I'm going to take the fluffier of the, um, of the lid color, of the lid brushes and I'm gonna go in with this color here, which is Dandy. I'm so excited to use all of these colors. Oh my gosh, they're pretty. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Dandy. If that dry swatch is anything like how it's gonna go in the eye, let's find out. Holy camoly, it's like, it's like pure gold. Look at that. Holy cannolis. Oh, that is beautiful that is beyond beautiful I'm really really impressed by that oh, knocked it out of the park color pop now I wasn't a big fan of the it's my pleasure palette not because the quality quality was there but because I didn't feel it was I don't know it wasn't as purple as I wanted it to be I guess I guess it leaned a little more pink on me but this yellow palette is like, th this is good stuff. This is good stuff. It's hard to make good yellows. And they are killing it with this. Holy crud. Like, look at that. That's on a dry brush the first time, the first layer. Wow, that's impressive color pop. I'm 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 very impressed by that color pop. Um, I'm gonna go back in with Buzzkill and my Luxie brush and just kind of go back over that outer V a little bit. Wow, and I feel like you can get different kind of looks with this depending on which tones of the yellow you use. I'm gonna have to do another yellow look very soon with this palette because I am. I'm super impressed. I am super impressed. Again, I'm just gonna go over the edges. I didn't put anything else on the brush. I'm just gonna go over the edges with the, this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm so impressed by that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my face. I'm gonna do my face um, makeup and my eyebrows and we're gonna come back and finish up the eyes. Today we're gonna just focus on the eyes and then I'm gonna show you my lip my lip stuff. So give me a few minutes, okay? I say like you have a choice. <laughs> okay guys, I completely forgot that I wanted to show you my new ColourPop blush in I Need Space. <laughs> um, so this is what the color looks like. It's nice and warm, it's a nice warm blush. Which is perfect for what we got going on here. So let's go ahead and do that. It's really pigmented, which I like. It's really, really pigmented. It's really, it's a like a neutrally. It leans kind of pink, but it's very neutral. I was afraid it was going to be too dark on me, but it's really not. It's really just a pretty. Build it up just a tad. It's a really pretty blush. This is one of Kathleen Light's um, collab blushes. Cool. Okay. So that's what the blush looks like. So now for 
the rest of the eyes. I'm going to leave the top the way it is. Um, and I'm going to take the little pencil brush. And I'm going to go ahead and take a mixture of the of the more brown tones, the Totally Buggin' and Buzzkill, so these two at the end here. And I'm going to put that under my lower lash line. Connecting it to that outer V area. I'm bringing it not all the way in, but almost all the way in, just leaving a little bit of space. Okay. Then I'm going to take my Sephora, uh, my Sephora Collection Eyeliner in Tiramisu, which is the brown one, and I'm going to run that around, and I'm going to run that along my waterline. I'm going to take this, this brush here, it's more like a flat shader brush, and I'm going to go in with the color Sunburst, which is this color here, right in the middle on the, on this road here. And I'm going to put that as my highlighter color. Ooh, that's pretty. A little bit on the brow arch, too. Just a little bit. Well, that just put glitter up there. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Okay. I think that for the eyes other than um, mascara. Alright, so I curled my lashes and now I'm going to go in with uh, Benefit Roller Lash. Roller Lash? Is that? Yeah, Roller Lash. And go ahead and do my upper and lower lashes with that. I love how lengthening and separating this, this uh, mascara is. Okay, so that's the eyes. Very, very pretty. I'm very impressed with this palette. I can't wait to play with more of the colors. I, I think it's a wearable yellow. I think that's very wearable. And I am going to wear it today. So cool. So um, in my Sephora, or in my, not Sephora haul, in my haul, I did show you my Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic lipstick. I love this lipstick. This is probably the one I'm going to end up wearing today. But I also wanted to show you the two other lipsticks that I got from that collection. Like I said, we're going to go... From real, real low end, real, real affordable to real high end. So, so this is the Angel Alessandra lipstick. This is the outside packaging, and I got it for the Panthers. I'm not gonna lie, the color is beautiful too. The color is beautiful too, but I love this bullet. I love this bullet. It's got Panthers on it, or Jaguars. I don't know. I'm calling them Panthers because I have, I have a couple of Panthers myself. And then the color, it's kind of a peachy nude color. Actually, you know what? Let's put it on the lips. Ugh. That's my first time trying that on and that is, that's gorgeous. Actually, this might work with this particular um, eye look too. That's gorgeous. I'm really a fan of that. So that's Angel Alessandra. And then these bullets, they, they're refillable. I guess you can just like take out the lipstick. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh yeah, you can just take out the lipstick and refill it with whatever, well not whatever color you want in the hot lips too. So I did also get a refill and the refill I got was um, Amazing Amal. So JK Magic is for JK Rowling. Um, Angel Alessandra is for the Victoria Saint, Victoria's, Victoria's Secret Angel Alessandra. I don't know her last name. And this is for Amal Clooney. And this is a more of a berry. The last two that I showed, well, the last one I showed you and then the JK Magic I showed you in my haul video are the Kissing Formula. So they're more of a, like a satiny finish. Um, and this is a, her matte formula. So let's try this. This is a berry color. Oh. 
Very comfortable mat. Very comfortable mat and a very pretty berry. This is going to be amazing in the fall. I mean, you can wear it anytime, but like at night or in the fall, that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. That left a little bit of a berry stain on my lips, but that's okay. Um, I was going to go in with JK Magic, but you know what? I'm just going to use Angel Alessandra because the peachy tones really work with the orange or the yellow tones. With the staining of the Amazing Amal, made it a little darker, but that's okay. Isn't that beautiful? These are very expensive lipsticks. Why I decided to do the very expensive lipsticks? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. But now I have three of them. Or two and a half, I guess. I don't know. I have two bullets and three lipsticks, so that's cool. Um, the packaging alone is flipping gorgeous. <clears throat> so I'm really impressed with by these lipsticks, um, which, I mean, I didn't think I... I was going to be disappointed. They're they're high end, and that doesn't automatically mean good quality. But Charlotte Tilbury, everything I use from Charlotte Tilbury, I'm very I've been very impressed by. So I, I'm I'm impressed by these lipsticks. The Aha uh -huh Honey palette, I'm much more impressed by this than I was by the It's My Pleasure palette. Again, the quality is there, and the It's My Pleasure. It just wasn't what I wanted a purple palette to be. But this is exactly what I would want a yellow palette to be. I think it's beautiful. The colors are very, very pigmented. They're very creamy. They blend out amazing. They blend together amazing. I am very impressed by this. And I personally think this is a very wearable yellow. Is everybody going to wear yellow? No. Should everybody wear yellow? I don't know. What, what, wear whatever color you want. Wear whatever color you want. But <clears throat> maybe not, you know, it's maybe not an everyday wear to work. But when you want to pop a color for the summer, I like it. It's beautiful. The brushes I also like. They were soft. They were, well, this one's a little stiff, but it's supposed to be. It's like a, it's like a pencil brush. They're soft. Um, they're good quality. They didn't shed on me. Um, I'll see when I wash them if they shed on me. They blended the shadow out nicely. For 20 bucks for six brushes, I, that, I like that. So, yeah. So that's my video today using the Uh Huh Honey palette and uh, doing a wearable yellow look. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next one.